Well, it is um, always interesting to know that uh, it is not just the PDP that are going through uh, serious issues in court because uh, the governor of Edo State have been, you know, having issues in court and on the 29th, he should be, sorry, 24th, uh, his uh, hearing will continue. But of course, PDP also has actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, filed a suit against the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, that is Pastor Sage Izeyamu. And you know that um, Izeyamu too has been pressing the case against the governor of Edo State. And this has actually caused a lot of issues right now in the state because right now the governor is supposed to just focus and work on you know making the state better but because of those court cases uh most times they do it twice a week like it was heard about two days ago and it will be heard again on the 24th and you know it's just all of these are just distractions but well he is not the bone of contention here it is also his party who has also uh tried to has not tried to, has actually filed a suit against the candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, that is Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu. Well, let us find out exactly why this case is against him because, you know, they don't want, they want to make it a win win thing or we lose together. If you think the governor is going to leave and for you to take over, then you are a joker. That is exactly what PDP is trying to do. So definitely you will also have a court case that you should be able to answer to that. Even if the governor does not win the case in the long run, you also will not be able to take over from him. And that is exactly what they are doing. Well, more details you will hear shortly, but please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Yes, that is the best so we know you like this video. And also turn on the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you get updated anytime we drop a new video. Yes. Okay, guys, without wasting much of your time, but I believe you know this is Saffron Media where we give you the most trending, exciting, reliable, and authentic happenings in the world of politics, especially from here in Nigeria. Okay, guys, let us get into the details of the report and see what uh, PDP has against the All Progressive Congress governorship candidates in Edo State, APC Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu. The Federal High Court Abuja has fixed December 29th to deliver judgment in a suit filed by the People's Democratic Party PDP against Osage Ize Iyamu. The PDP in the suit is seeking the disqualification of Ize Iyamu from the September 19th governorship election in Edo State. The trial judge, Justice Hamad Mohammed, fixed the date on Wednesday following the adoption and argument of written addresses for, for and against the suit by council representing parties. The PDP joined the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the All Progressive Congress, APC, and Ize Iyamu as defendants in the suit. The court on the last adjournment date held that that ruling in all objections and motions regarding the suit will be delivered during judgment at the resumed hearing counsel to Ize Iyamu, Mr. Roland Otaru San informed the court of an application seeking to invite one Hilary Osu, the dep deponent of the affidavit in support of the PDP's originating summons. Councils to Obaseki, Mr. Ken Mozia San, however, raised an objection to the request on the grounds that the earlier order of the court had foreclosed the hearing of any further application. For his part, Mozia maintained that Ize Iyamu was not validly nominated as a candidate of the APC in the September 19th governorship election and ought to be disqualified, arguing on behalf of INEC. Mrs. Wendy Kuku urged the court to dismiss the suit for lacking in merit. Similarly, counsel to the APC, Mr. Akinlo Luke in the son, prayed the court to dismiss the suit 
on the grounds that the suit was tantamount to Mr. A taking Panadol for Mr. B's headache. Ize Iyamu's counsel, Roland Otaru San, also prayed the court to dismiss the suit on the ground that it had become academic since the primaries had already been conducted and Obaseke did not participate in the primaries. The plaintiff is simply a meddlesome interloper in another party's primary election. Otaru submitted Justice Mohammed after listening to arguments from counsel fixed December 29th for judgment, noting that the lifespan of the suit by law would terminate on December 30th. PDP in suit is praying the court for an order disqualifying Ize Iyamu from contesting in the September 19th governorship poll on the ground that he was not validly nominated by his party, the APC. In the suit filed on July 3rd, Obaseki claimed that Ize Iyamu was not a product of a valid primary election and should not be allowed to participate in the election. Although the suit was initially instituted in the Benin Division of the Federal High Court, it was transferred to the Abuja Division due to the annual vacation of the court. It was, however, not heard during the court's vacation following an objection raised by the APC and Ize Iyamu. Meanwhile, hearing in a suit filed by the APC against Godwin Obaseki, accusing him of forging the academic certificate he submitted to INEC in aid of his qualification for the governorship election, continues on the 24th of December. Yes, obviously, you can see that uh, both are actually fighting themselves, both the APC and the People's Democratic Party are at loggerheads right now, and they are trying to make sure that even if Mr. A does not really uh, win this, that Mr. B does not also uh, uh, take over from Mr. A. Well, we just hope that uh, this um, uh, uh, suit against the governor would uh, not actually pass because he, his case uh, continues, the hearing of his case continues December 24th and uh, also that of Ize Iyamu also continues on the 30th of december well we just hope that all of this really comes to an, come to an end because it is not making the state to be settled at the moment and all of these are causing a lot of clashes between you know youths and even courts and all the likes in the state which are not supposed to be well guys you've heard it from here thank you so much for listening whatever you have to say about this Please drop it in the comments section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.